Hello, teachers. It's teacher Lindsay here. And today I want to talk about backgrounds. So there's two different ways that I change my backgrounds uh, throughout class. Now, some teachers only use one background throughout the whole class, and that's cool. I like to change it throughout the lesson and because I am hyper and <laughs> I just like to change it up. So I'm going to show you different ways of doing it. And I actually use both of these ways during class. Um, some days, though, I just do Sparkle Cam and I don't do Google Slides. And other days, I like want to do both because with Google Slides, you have a little bit um, more flexibility with what you have. And I sometimes do GIFs and some funny stuff with that. So... This right now, what you're seeing is Sparkle Cam, and I've just enlarged it to make it easier for you to see. Typically, during the lesson, I have it very small in the corner of my computer. So, for changing out your backgrounds using Sparkle Cam, um, you just go to this device and you just click the plus sign and I uh, recommend having a folder on your computer with a variety of backgrounds, especially if you're a teacher who just kind of likes to hop into the class or if you teach a lot of uh, short notice classes where you have no idea what to expect, who you're going to get. You can create a, you know, a folder in your computer with various backgrounds and options, and it's super easy to change the background during a lesson. Sometimes we'll get on the topic of colors and I don't have something up and I'll just click on it really fast. It takes like three seconds. So I had recently the library lesson. So let's see. <gasps> library, shh, be quiet. <laughs> okay, so you just click at it, change it, click, click, super easy. And there you go. Um, find images that will kind of are similar to the size that you're creating on your computer. So you're going to do that square behind you. And I like to make it just a little bit bigger. And I always keep a little strip at the top of black so that I can click off of it. And if I need to click on my box. So did you see that? So I have my box and then I have my background box. Click on black to deactivate. And then if I want to click on my box or the background box. So it's like it's, it's layers of paper, right? We have two layers. We have the layer that you're in with your camera, right? This is your layer. And then this is the layer of your background. So I always keep a little bit black somewhere in there. So I used to sometimes do it on the side over there. It's up to you what you want to do. I like to keep it at the top now, and that, that way I can click back and forth. This is helpful for when you're doing effects. So if you have the effect clicked on the background box, the effect will show behind you. So it's similar to like when you're using Microsoft Word and you're doing bring to back, bring to front. That's what you're doing. So the images that you're wanting are going to be behind you. So for an example, image overlay, if I have this tiger here. Okay. He is behind me. Okay. If I am selected, so my box is selected and I click on that. Oops. Um, then he's going to be in front of me. Okay. So it depends on what you want to do and how you want to uh, run your, your class. But that's all that is. It's just a layering. So always leave a little bit at the top so you can deactivate um, the uh, item and click back and forth. Okay. Now, next, I will show you how I do it with Google Slides. Okay. Uh, Google Slides offers you, oops, I just, <laughs> I had it all ready to go and then I just clicked off of it. Um, Google Slides allows you to basically create your own background. Okay. So you have, you can do whatever you want. I like to create one presentation for class rather than having like multiple Google slides up. I create just one slideshow and then I have all of my Google slides that I'm going to use during the lesson set up. 
Okay, so this is another way that I do backgrounds. And then I make sure, like I said, you want to click on the background box. See if I clicked, if I was to click on it with I'm in the box, it would cover up me with the background. Okay, let me give you an example. Oh no, where am I? <laughs> okay, I just click on webcam and here I am again. So make sure that background box is selected. Okay. So here on this, instead of using this picture mode, I go over to that desktop right here. I do define area and my little handy dandy box becomes available. And I use this all the time during my lessons. So I'm going to fit it to my slides um, here. Okay, so whatever shows up here in that window. Okay, and I wanna make sure, so I have my define area, I hit accept, and there it is, okay? And if I wanna make it a little bit bigger, I can. Okay, so now uh, here I can just click on what background I want. So you see, yeah, Carl the camel, here you are again. Um, and I can have all sorts of potential backgrounds. I like to do this one when I do the star. I go, you get a star. And the students really like it. And it's, I think, mainly for me. I really like it. <laughs> um, but see, I have lots of different options. Oh, and this one's funny. So you saw how I did the hallway using the picture um, mode using Sparkle Cam. Well, here on Google Slides, I can use GIFs. So this just makes it a little bit more dynamic, uh, especially in that song. It starts out no, like there's nobody around, and at the end of the song, it's like everybody's around. So I use both, actually, and then at the they really crack up at the, at the end because they see My Little Pony. And then we also have the same smile. <laughs> but it's a lot of fun. And like I said, I do both. Um, the picture uh, mode in Sparkle Cam, and then I also use Google Slides. And like I said, it depends on the day and how much prep time I have. Sometimes I don't have a ton of prep time, so I just kind of use the picture and picture, and then I kind of like can click on my backgrounds that are already saved really fast. Okay, so that is pretty much that. I also, um, and I've showed it in other uh videos uh how i run my class is let's see here we go where's my last one? okay so i actually share the lesson slides as well so here is an example and this is actually a class that i've already uh, taught um, but so we're just talking about the space so now i can cast the actual lesson behind me and i do that with the student that way as we're learning it just helps bring everything to life. So I actually do both. And as you can see on my desktop here, you can see how I do layer things. So I'm able to, and I usually never have this, this humongous here. So I usually have it small in the corner. Okay. So I have sparkle cam over here. I have my classroom here, and then I have my, um, my Google slides here. And so as I'm learning, as we're going, I can change my backgrounds, okay? And then I just click back on the lesson. If I wanna go back to the lesson, I can click on the background and then I can go back to picture and I can change it here if I want, okay? So I know it seems a little bit overwhelming. Experiment with it, try different things. You might find that you really like the simplicity of just using the picture feature in Sparkle Cam, and it's really great and it like takes like two seconds to change out your backgrounds. Much easier than creating a preset, in my opinion, because you can do it really fast and it's pretty simple. And then if you want to make a little bit more fancier slides, you can create, you can use actual slideshows um, that are preset for every lesson. Um, or you can make an individual slideshow for your classes that you're gonna teach. It's however you wanna do things. That's the fun part of this job is we can do things how we want to do them. And so this is just an example of how I do things in my class and I hope that it helps you and please contact me if you have any extra questions. Hope it helps. Happy teaching, goodbye.